You don't know who's getting on your bus. You don't know what you're up against. NBC Connecticut investigates the really wild side of riding public transit buses here in Connecticut. And tonight that conversation is getting real. And for the first time, these bus drivers reveal the dirty and dangerous situations they encounter on their bus every day. Here's investigator Dan Corcoran. Turns out when you take the bus in Connecticut, you may be in for a wild ride. They get on the bus and they relieve themselves mm -hmm. and they smell so yes. bad. It's ridiculous. First hand accounts from bus drivers themselves. They are the eyes and ears on board. Now telling all of us what's really going on out there on the road. What about the people that don't ride the bus every day? Do they have an idea what happened? No, no, no they're no. mostly in shock when they no. see things happen. Passengers doing the unthinkable on board. Like, sir, excuse me, you cannot get changed on the bus. He had stripped down to his undershirt and boxers, had his suitcase open, mm -hmm. and was prepared to get changed on my bus like it was his bedroom. We've seen people uh, performing oral sex. Nothing's off limits. Sexual activity and gambling. They were making money on the bus. From marijuana. I said, listen, man, you can't smoke that on the bus. To much more serious substances. Twice I saw a guy shooting up. You get up, you walk back there, and you see their arms strapped off. And there are the passengers who think they can bring just about anything on board. I'm like, Everything. you can't yeah. bring a mattress on the bus. They're like, why not? I paid my fare. I was in yeah. awe. Like, my jaw literally went, oh. <laughs> How about a deli slicer, gas cans, or a chainsaw? You name it, these drivers say someone's tried to take it on the bus. I had a guy try to bring on kitchen chairs. I had a guy to bring on a grill. Appliances and even exotic animals. Different animals, snakes. Yeah. Boa constrictor, monkeys, everything. parrots, everything. Uh, ferrets, human. weasels. And what's worse, these drivers say, is what some passengers leave behind. For somebody to come and relieve themselves on the bus is the worst, and you have to drive around with it until uh, the company comes to clean it up. I was spit in the face. Two teenagers. One was a mom with a young baby. She left her baby in the stroller to fight another girl. The drivers say some of what they see is enough to make their skin crawl. You could literally see the bed bugs walking around on him. You can physically see them come out of a come out of his shirt or and walk across them and go someplace else. They're almost like pets. These drivers say safety is always the top priority. To handle that bus like that's your family back there and that's how I look at my passengers. And despite everything in this really this candid conversation, they all tell me they love their jobs. And I just try to keep a smile and say, oh, it's all right. It's a daily thing. I'm used to it. Now, managers at CT Transit tell me they really do appreciate the tremendous efforts of these bus drivers when faced with situations like these. And there's more of our discussion with the drivers from both CT Transit and Greater Bridgeport Transit online right now. From the best and worst place for you to sit on a bus to the move we make in our own personal vehicles that these bus drivers say puts us in danger. All that and more right now on the NBC Connecticut app. Check it out. I'm Dan Corcoran, NBC Connecticut Investigates.